I've been messing around with some um, of the warm white LED tape that I got from eBay. And I got two versions. I got the 50-50 version and the, I think it's the 3528 version. Now, the 50-50 version uses 50-50 LEDs, as the name implies, and each LED has three chips in it. So this is supposed to be a much brighter version than this. Now, I expected, I, I did the maths um, looking at the LEDs. I'll just unplug this because it is quite bright. Um, I did the maths on based on the voltage across the LEDs and the single resistor in series on this type of tape. Now, working on 12 volts, um, we've got three LEDs and a 150 ohm resistor. So I measured the voltage across the LEDs and it averaged out. There's quite a wide variation between the LED voltage when it was running. It averaged out between three and three and a half volts per LED. But uh, on average, across the, the a section, um, it was roughly a total uh, forward voltage of three LEDs of 9.5 volts, giving 2.5 volts to drop across the 150 ohm resistor. And that would theoretically give a current of 16 milliamps per section. Now, there are 100 sections in this. There's, is it 300 LEDs? I think it is. It's 60 LEDs per meter. So the whole five meter roll has 100 sections. And you'd expect that it was going to be um, 100 times 16 milliamps equals 1.6 amps. But when I plug it in and I look at the meter, and I'll just plug it back in again, the current is just over one amp. And the reason for that is because there's actually quite a high voltage drop from one end of this tape to the other. Um, I measured it just one meter and the voltage drop per meter was 0.35 volts. And if you multiply that by five, which isn't that accurate because the, the actual voltage drop will change, it will get lower and lower as it goes along because the current's also reducing as it goes along. But um, it would theoretically be 1.75 volts less at this end. And if you, you've got the same 150 ohm resistor, so theoretically the LEDs in the very middle of this um, line here, at the very end of the run, would just be getting five milliamps each. So I think really, when you're using tape like this, it's really a good idea to um, use it in one meter sections or, or, you know, don't use it, don't try and run five meters um, from one end uh, because the, there will be a significant intensity tail off to the other end. And if you're wanting the sort of maximum illumination out of it, it probably is better maybe feeding it in the middle and sort of splitting out two directions at the very least. Um, now, the 5050 tape seems to have, it's got two resistors, and I've not really dug into this too much, but I can kind of guess how it's probably configured. There are three LEDs in each chip, and they're probably wired in parallel. Um, certainly, if you look at the back, it's a fairly... Oh, I've just peeled off the adhesive tape. I'll, I'll maybe go to the other end, because I, I burst this roll deliberately to get access to the other end to measure the voltage drop across it. Um, so you get the bus bars down the side and then you've got um, the sort of stepped pattern of the tracks that are jumping to the uh, resistors and then going through the LEDs. So it does look like they've got the LEDs are wired as three parallel LEDs in each device, then a resistor, then three more parallel LEDs, then a resistor and then three more parallel LEDs. And the, use, the reason for the two resistors is to keep the dissipation down, I'm guessing. Now, the resistors are actually 47 ohm resistors. And if in an ideal world, all the LEDs were just dropping three volts each, then that would be nine volt total of the LED. Uh, from 12 is three volts to drop across, say, 247s, let's say 100 ohms, would give about 30 milliamps per section. So again, you'd expect there's 100 sections along this, um, that it would be 3 amps. Actual current was 2 amps, but that wasn't too bad actually. Um, I did a measurement, I measured the resistance from one end to the other. Uh, not at resistance, I actually measured under load the voltage drop, and it dropped down to, it, it dropped by 0 0.7 volts. So, it just, again, it shows that, you know, 
this stuff, although it comes in five meter runs, is probably better not used in five meter runs. Uh, it's probably a good idea just to use it in short, shorter sections if you want the full intensity and a more even illumination across its length. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's neat enough. I'm going to maybe install some uh, as undershelf lighting to see how it looks.